Beats produced by ADP at Shadowville.com. Thanks, ADP. Love your art, brother. Hi, I'm on chemicals to make me someone you might want to know. How crazy am I, and do I ever want you to know? I guess it depends on how deep we gotta go before you hesitantly say, Hey, I gotta go. I should wear a label medicated for your safety on those days when you can't quite get near me safely. On the outside, I might appear quiet and saintly, but ain't that the way the witnesses put it so quaintly? Anytime a guy like me just can't cope, out of time, out of luck, out of hope, finally lets go of the end of his rope, starts eyeballing people through the end of a scope. Leaving behind neighbors that say, oh, he was so nice, kept to himself, while other ones whisper about what they might see in the fridge on a shelf, or speculate about the time they saw him dressed up as an elf in August with a snowblower singing to himself. From the inside out, though, here's how it looks. Simmering inside me, something dark cooks, staining my face with devilish looks, roiling and coating my mind's tiniest nooks. As I sit here smoking on that green shit, my mind feels caged and I'm just trying to free it, flipping the switch that causes that little idea bulb to be lit. Literally bearing my literary soul for you to see it in a different technique. I'm giving a little trial, something new to do for a little while, pitting out my rhymes cherry seed style. Oh, you're thinking that through and the meanings involved, I'll flow in a different direction, leave you three and a half feet back, looking around to see which way I beat tracks. Linguistically, I'm someone you never want to have speak back. Words so ferocious, they make you flinch and leap back. You still don't know if I should be institutionalized, if the words I share reflect desires unrealized, or just a few moments of violence fantasized, as I categorize, organize, find myself surprised at what goes through my mind when I ain't even got nothing to say, but the damn words come out anyway. I suffer with rhyming rhythmic Tourette's every single day, spitting bars at random, making people turn away. And then the anxiety creeps up on me again, talons just barely piercing through my skin, wraps around my neck, chucks me under the chin, digs into my chest and says let's begin. And I never know how long the battle will last, but I'm in it to the end, which never comes fast, it just happens, leaving me stunned on a hill of grass, in the middle of reaching around for another pill fast, my pharmaceutical ammunition and the fight I wage against the demons washing over me in a glimmer of blades, as I'm grabbing them, smashing them, biting into them in a rage, and spitting them out to die on the page.